Hi, welcome for our online training sessions. In account payables model, how the security will be implemented? That's a basic uh, question in the interview point of view, as well as we are supposed to work in the project as a functional consultant. We are supposed to interact with our uh, client and we have to discuss what level the security they would like to have for different employees or different uh, departments will be going to apply. So when we talk about account payables here, security point of view, first we have to discuss what are the different roles we have, then we have to provide the data access levels here. So role is basically used in Fission applications to provide the access to the application, to the application. Once user access the application, then he try to fetch the data, either search or insert, update or delete. That's what we provide as a data access. Okay. So when we say account payables module, we have to discuss what are the payables roles we have, how we can find for any module. If we are working for any module, how to find what are different roles are there. We can directly search from here, Oracle Fusion Cloud Finance account payables roles, or we can directly get it from here. It is uh, from OER, Oracle Enterprise Repository Documentation. And we can go to the latest release here. We'll find basically this information in the security reference in financials. Oh, let's say, go to cloud environment. Fusion cloud applications with the documentation. Go to financials. Go to all books. Go down security user guide we are supposed to open it to find what are different roles for a particular module here we can find here security for erp security reference for financials this is common features this is for accounting hub faH financials accounting hub let me go to this security reference with html pad now here we can find for all account uh, payables uh, module and uh, budget collections expense module and then general ledger module and then we will find uh, tax module as well as receivables module now we are talking about account payables we have accounts payable manager job role is there so there are different types of roles what are the types of roles we have different types of roles we have one is abstract role we have next one is duty role we have next one is job role we have Next one is data role. We can create a new role. We call it as a custom role. Custom is nothing but a new role. So job role is basically to access the application. We are going to give the access to the application. We'll be working with the job roles here. Okay. So accounts payable manager. Whenever we find any role here, accounts payable manager role, we will find within that role hierarchy. It means there might be some other roles are included in this. What is the role hierarchy and what are the duties are there? Means what are the actions you can perform here? How about the privileges? Nothing but performing some actions against this particular uh, role hierarchy. And once we are clear with the privileges, data security policies are there. Means whether you wanted to show that particular data or you wanted to hide that information we'll find here data security policies and privacy information. Nothing but display that information to the employee. You wanted to go for hide, okay. So mainly when we are working with account payables module, we'll find three roles, payables manager and payables specialist and payables supervisor. There is one more role called invoice supervisor and uh, payment supervisor. Of course, it's a supervisor role. One is payables invoice supervisor where you can access only invoice uh, information, payables payment supervisor, where you can access only payments information. If at all you want both invoice information and payments information, you have to go for supervisor, supervisor rule. So total uh, we have five, but out of that, mainly we have three, payables manager, payables specialist, payables supervisor, this three roles we have. 
So whenever the role is there, if at all we want to access this role information from the application point of view, not from the documentation point of view, what we have to do is, let's go to the application security console environment, navigator, tools menu, security console, and go to users, sorry, roles tab, search for the role. Then it will shows what are the different types of accesses we have over here we can find. Now this is our role which we have and we can find there are sub roles, nothing but you have grouped. This is defined by Oracle. How will you find whether this role is defined by Oracle or uh, uh, we have created whenever we go to edit this particular role we'll come to know here predefined role checkbox is enabled it means this role is defined by oracle and it has got some function security policies to access function is nothing but a menu within the menu sub menus we'll find here data security policies nothing but what information you can access from the database here and any roles you are going to call you can call one role from another role. It means attaching another role. See inheritance, nothing but calling another role here. Another role inherited, inherited by the role we can find here. Here we can find, click next button. So in case of uh, segregation of duties, if the role combination, this I'm not sure about it. It's, it's I think newly introduced. I've not used any segregation of the duties anytime. So then we'll find the user's information uh, who has accessed this. Already we have assigned for this user also, April 1 dot April 1 user, this. And we can find this information. If at all we want to go for copy this rule, we can copy from here. If at all we want to go for compare with any other rule, we can compare from here. Go to simulate navigator. It will choose in the navigator where exactly this role will be affected. We'll find it. Here. So what is your role name? Accounts uh, Payable Manager. Accounts Payable Manager. So where exactly this particular role is going to be populated in your navigator menu? We can find here. Payables dashboard, invoices, and payments. See, that's why we are not having any icons here. It means it's been populated in this area. So view roles that grant access, view privileges required for menu, we can find here. So these are the role names which are created. Okay. So it's as a functional consultant, uh, it's our responsibility is supposed to create a role, copy the role, assign these roles to the users, assigning the data access to the users after assigning the role and data access, then test this particular role. This is our responsibility. This is our responsibility. So we have seen what roles are required for account payables module. So what are the roles required? Accounts payable manager, accounts payable supervisor, accounts payable specialist. Then after that, what is the data access level? Business unit. Whenever we log into the account payables, try to create an invoice or try to make a payment, the first field system will ask you, choose the business unit. So whatever the business unit you are able to access, that, that data access provided, only for those business units will be able to prepare a documents like invoice or payments documents. We can also provide multiple business units data access. Let me show you where do we do that process. The moment uh, once we hire an employee, let me hire an employee here. Let's go to financials, manage user task. In vision applications point of view, security is nothing but a role and data access, two things we are going to combine. So here I'm going to mention Smith Rao. Going to choose this US one legal entity and US one business unit. 
Let's go for say one close. This is just uh, hiring an employee for this company and for this branch. This is not security. So we hired an employee who's working for this legal employer, nothing but company and working for this business unit, nothing but a branch. Now I want to give the access to the application. Go to security console and let's go to the users tab here and search for this user. User account is not generated. What happened? Okay. So there is some issue with this instance. That's why user account is not generated. Fine. What we'll do is we'll create a user account for our employee. Choose the employee here. Smith. This, this is our employee, choose employee name. For this employee, I'm going to create R Smith. Okay, username, let me reset the password here. This way also we can do it. If you have an employee, you want to create a user account here. I don't think so. It will allow us to create a username from here. That's an instance issue. Let's try accounts, able, manage. That's the role we are going to assign. So this role will have a group of uh, inherited roles and uh, privileges. Let's go for save and close. Yeah, that's failed to create a user. That's there is some issue with the user. Okay. What we have to do is let me search for existing users. Anyone is there? No, but is there. This user account also is locked. Fine. That's actually issue with the application, not our setups. It seems uh, user account might be, user account limit might be crossed. There might be different uh, users. Let me search for existing employee. Yeah, okay, let's say this employee is there, edit. I'm going to add the role. Accounts payable. Manager is the role name we are going to add. It's fine. Save and close. So it is allowing us to update existing users, fine but not new user account, no problem. We have reset the password for this user. John Andrews is the username. For that, we have added the role called accounts payable manager, it's fine. Let me log in with this user. We can find payables work area. Now John can go to navigator, see the payables option is there, invoices. The moment when we add the roles, we can find, but he's not able to access any information. It's showing zero records. So John has got the access to the application, not for the data, not for the data. So whenever we add some roles to the user, what happened? User can access the application, but not the data. If you want to provide the data, we have to provide data access. If it is roles, we'll do it from security console. From tools menu, we'll go to security console and we'll do it. But if it is uh, data access, we have to do it from FSM environment, from functional setup manager. So from where we will do from FSM environment, but this employee does not have the access to FSM. Let me log in as an implementation user and do this particular setup here. I'm going to log in as an implementation user. Mm 
go to navigator setup and maintenance can do it from financials go to financials work area data access for the user so i'm going to give the data access for user how the data access will be given to the users nothing but for employees based on the combination of user and role the moment whenever we choose the user and role name automatically system will populate the security context and then set the context value security context is nothing but the level of information you wanted to provide you want to provide ledger level information or bu level information or reference data set level information whatever the data you wanted to show it to the user that will so john dot andrews is the user account and then choose the role name what is our role name accounts payable manager here i can find business unit if you select the role which is related for general ledger module then automatically system will ask you either ledger or ledger set ledger means sometimes it will shows the data access set both are same right so now i'm going to assign this us1 business unit if for that you would like to give the permission for multiple business units access duplicate system will pick the username and role name automatically and then security context also provide the second business unit also choose this business unit like this we can give the permission for multiple business units we have to choose the same username same role name and business unit and choose whatever the bu you would like to give the access right. once we provide the data access we must run the program called ldap user ldap process lightweight directory access protocol we must run this program this program is going to synchronize the users and roles information here users and roles information sometimes in the interest they'll ask you whenever we add the roles do we need to run the ldap process no for the roles it's not required for the roles it's not required only for data access we required okay only for data access we have to run this program sometimes we'll get this error message because already this ldap process is running one or more requests are currently pending it means uh, maybe i think uh, ldap process is blocked okay let me cross check sometimes due to server issue when we try to run the ldap process it will be blocked let me cross check once user or roles synchronization option it's got struck up it's okay no problem sometimes even if it is uh, showing error message uh, it will be updated automatically let me cross check earlier employee was able to access the payables uh, work area now we'll check the data john dot andrews is going to log in and go to navigator payables invoices earlier it was showing zero records now we got the data here because we provided the information we provided the information so but accounts payable manager will not allow you to create a new invoices if at all you want to create a new invoices you have to add another role called accounts payable supervisor now it will allow you to search for the invoices validate existing invoices depends on the requirement we can work with other tasks here it is let's go to manage invoices 
and we can uh, see the business unit and search for only one business unit is populated other business units may take some time to get those data because LDAP process is not working properly now he is able to access this information okay so this is uh, how we can provide the access to the users accounts payable manager next if at all you want to create an invoice then which role we have to provide accounts payable specialist role the moment whenever we choose this role it will show you here what are the different actions we can perform payables invoice inquiry payables invoice transaction analysis and procurement folder reporting point of view we can find here this upload data when we go for supervisor supervisor so it will allow us to go for payables invoice creation you can create an invoice here you can search for the invoices you can process the invoices and you can also do the payment creation right now this user is not able to perform the payment also if this john andrews goes to payments So manage payment option is there create payment we don't have so let's go for assign this role accounts payable supervisor so that it will allow us to create a payment as well as to create an invoice accounts payable supervisor go to security console search for the user add the role we can log in with any implementation user log in here go to navigator here tools menu security console go to users tab search for the user here john andrews and uh, let's go for edit add role here we are going to add accounts payable supervisor let's go for add this role and also data access setup and maintenance when we are running the ldap process if we get some error message or someone might have already submitted even if some other users has submitted that is applicable for our uh, transaction also it will issue the commit for our transactions also manage data access for users choose the username choose the role name accounts payable supervisor we'll find a security context security context value let's try to go to initial users menu run the elda process here submit It's okay, no problem. Cancel it and try to log in with Andrew's user. Let's go to payables here and go to invoices. System should allow us to create an invoice here. the moment when we go to task list see that uh, create invoice option we got because we added the role called accounts payable supervisor role so and we will be able to find the business units here still other business units are not populated or maybe it takes couple of minutes time only one we are getting and same thing for payment also let's go for uh, payables payment options earlier it was allow us to search for the payments now it will allow us to create a payment also okay this is how we can go for uh, assign the roles as well as the data security data access to the employees in accounts payables module okay thank you